beef in the environment. I haven't heard that beef has an uh, effect on the environment. I don't necessarily seek out recycled products. So if I were to spill something, I'd use a paper towel. I've used in my lifetime cell phone about like 15, 20. I have no idea what old cell phones do to the environment. The happy meal isn't really that happy. You're not really, you know, it's not happy. It's, it's actually a very sad meal. It's really grotesque. About 70% of all antibiotics used in the United States are used in livestock. Um, and they're given these antibiotics no matter what their condition is. I'm in the meat business, and yet I totally agree that in the United States we eat too much meat. So what I say is, let's eat less meat, but let's eat healthy meat. What I want you to do for the next 10 minutes is make a list of five products you use that you believe create the largest eco footprint. <laughs> And the foods. Either way, you transport it everywhere. Yeah. yeah. Bananas aren't from here, and you see them out in the little vendors. Hey, how many of you had phones on your list, uh, along with Armin's group? How many of you had plastic bags on your list? Okay, so a couple of groups. Had, wow, good. Along with plastic bags, you can put plastic bottles. Good. So we also have plastic bottles. Very good. Uh, who knows? Like one of the main ingredients in plastic bottles. Oil. Oil. Okay, so that's a big ingredient in a plastic bottle. To be able to show a five minute video and have the kids really comment then on it quickly and then get their ideas flowing, I think is great. One of the biggest things that I t took from the film was that one day without meat equaled eight million cars from the road. I found that very shocking because I didn't know that meat itself would have such a big impact with the environment. We did decide like that the ratio of fast food to like organic could be more proportionate. Like it's definitely yeah. right now it's like definitely more fast food. We personally can't afford to have organic food every single day of our life. Right. So that's why we eat like McDonald's, which is cheaper and even though it's bad for you, it's more accessible, it's more accessible for us. Right. If more organic shops open up, like the then the maybe the price will decrease. Some kids don't know that cows make a huge environmental impact with methane. So showing videos to kids like us and other kids around the United States, it's going to change the way they think about the environment now and the things they consume every day. I was telling them I felt so bad because I just went like Saturday to eat like a big burger. And like I, now that I saw this, I'm like, oh, wrong move. That wasn't good. But even though Watching those videos made me more aware of what kind of world I'm living in. And how each uh, choice, decision I make impacts the environment around me. Whatever they don't give out, they yeah, just they throw just out. Throw right. So it's just a waste. Yeah. And do you think we're, we're the only people who do that? No. no. So it's us every times school. every school, every school. Every school. plus who else? Plus every, plus every, plus every, plus every restaurant, yeah. right? Especially a lot of students didn't know the huge impact. I didn't know the huge impact that these products have. There's a lot more students that really just don't know. And to show these videos will educate them in a better way.